Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. I'm about to respool this. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. Got the original intro back. I don't know. I just think the original <laughs> intro is the original intro. By the way, guys, in the last video, as you guys know, that we filmed, it was our first time kayak fishing. If you guys haven't seen it, I would definitely go check it out. I'll link it below, link it up top. Well, today we're going to be doing a 1v1 kayak fishing challenge because that is what you guys commented in the last video. You guys wanted me and Alan Bob to go face to face. So that's what we're doing today. Let's smack some. We're going to smack some ass. We're about to drop the kayaks in. Conditions are a little bit better today. We got some clouds in the sky. Just a little bit of wind on the water. And this is kind of weird because I think this is the only time I'd rather there not be wind. Like kind of because yeah, we're in a kayak, you know, because yeah. you got to paddle around and everything. But rather than that, I'm freaking pumped. Now let's take these kayaks down to the lake. <laughs> Alrighty, we're about to put them in, baby. So this is the start, Alan, of the 1v1 tournament. What do you feel? You're going down. Probably head in different directions. It's a real tournament, so <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you where I'm going. Wait, wait, so this is how it's gotta work. We don't have a scale, so. So since we don't have a scale today, it's gonna be by numbers, how many fish, you know, if I catch five, he catches four. I take the W, if he catches five, I catch four. He takes the W, baby. We we're going by numbers go. today. I don't know, next, next tournament, we'll make sure we'll do weight as well, because some of the fish are really fat out here. So, oh, yeah. and there's some 10 pounders in here too, but let's get it started. All right, everybody, it's time to start. We got Alan Bob in front of me. It's about to go down, man. As many fish as you can catch. That's what's going to win, all right? I ain't telling you where I'm going. We're just going to go. You ready? Wait, I got to turn around. Though. Are you going that way? Yeah. All right, I'll let you go that way, matter of fact. You go that way. I was going to go that way, but here, all right, let's get it. It starts now. I'm going to go catch a big one, dude, right off the bat. You'll hear me screaming. So everybody, Alan Bob's actually starting in a juicy location. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not worried about it because I got these trees by my house. I'm gonna start by flipping around some of these, throw my drop shot up there as well, and then possibly go head towards the middle of the pond, middle of the lake, and possibly catch them out deep on the drop shot. I have reached my first location. We're gonna be throwing that drop shot, a tight on a pink worm. No one's not gonna know what's gonna come for him. So we're gonna try to make the best of it and see what happens. I feel like I need to make a cast right here. I used to always catch some in this corner. All right, that is not good. I know the place Alan went to is juice, but I was expecting to pick up a fish right here. But I picked up nothing, <laughs> not even a bite. We are moving locations. Oh my God, guys, there he is. There he is, there he is, guys, there he is, there he is. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, he's big, he's big, he's big, guys. Oh my God. Oh, oh, get in here, baby. Oh, I actually hooked him with my other rod. That is not very smart. First fish of the tournament. Noah's going down. Let's get a release on him. There he goes. There he is. There he is. Freaking good one. Freaking good one. Oh, man. <laughs> that is a freaking fatty. Oh my gosh, he's got it all the way in the back of his throat too. Guys, that is the first freaking fish of the day for me. Man, that is such a fat one. First one, I think Alan has one, so we're tied now. Two freaking fatties right here. Oh my gosh, so get him back in the water. Thank you for biting. Yes, let's go baby. I'm in all sorts of a mess right now. Thank God this thing floats. All right, baby, that is first freaking fish of the day. Ooh, that's a relief. I did not have a bite there for a minute and I was kind of getting worried. I was like, yeah, this is not good, but I slowly started dragging this thing out super, super slow and I got the bite that I needed. Oh my God, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Guys, he's got his second fish. That's a good one. He's fighting hard. Golly. A paddle. A paddle's gone, screw the paddle. Dude, oh my Dude. God. He's fighting like he's about a five, six pounder. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. 
Ah! <laughs> Drop the net in now. All right, baby, that is the second fish. Alan Bob, what you think about that one, man? A solid fish, dude. Look how fat he is. How many you got? You got one? So this is the this is the wreck. This is the tiebreaker. I got two now. Two fatties. Gosh. On the old drop shot. Almost didn't have, almost didn't get in my net or my paddles all the way over there. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that, but pretty fish. Oh my god, bro. Wait, it's gone. That was definitely a gator, bro. I am dead serious. A gator. Or it might be a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of wood. Oh my god. I'm about to re-spool this. Holy smokes. I just smacked that grass on the bank right there. Got him. Oh! Uh, he's a good size. Alan's about as freaking tied up. No way. No freaking way. If he can land him. Oh, come in, bro. He landed him. <laughs> oh my god. Is he big? He came off. No, he didn't. My line got stuck. Yep. Couldn't get him in. But he was in the boat though, wasn't he? Well, he he flew over the boat. Yeah, but he hit the boat, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll, screw it. We'll count it. <laughs> god, dog. He's a baby. He's a baby though. All right, that's a baby, guys. Alan Bob just caught him another one. Cannot believe it, people. Cannot believe it. I should it only be a second, but pretty much his third. We're counting that one he dropped. Oh my God, he had it, bro. What? Got him. Got him, boy. They're babies, though. But they are choking it, guys. I think that's a fourth one. It's a baby. The competition is not the biggest, but the most. So I'll take the small ones. Let's see if we can cast out there and catch another one. Hopefully a little bigger. Yeah. Oh, he has it. He has it, guys. He has it. Oh, he's a small one. I thought he was a huge one. In the boat. Fifth one, guys. I thought he was bigger, though. Well, let's see if his brother's still in there. So I actually just switched over from the big June bug trick worm over to this little four-inch green pumpkin one. Maybe this will make a difference. Maybe I'll end up getting some more bites just because the profile's a little bit more smaller. Or maybe they want this color better. I know Alan's throwing a different color, so that might be why he's getting a lot of bites because I saw him get a lot off of one bank over there. There he is. There he is. It's a baby, but he counts. But he counts. There we go, baby. That is my third fish. What a fatty. These fish are so little fatties, but this is a small one. But good thing we're going for numbers because he counts. That's fish number three for me. I want to say Alan has like four with that one that he dropped in the water if we're counting that one. Or maybe he has five. I, I don't know. I saw him catching them over there, but this is my third fish. Ooh, baby, thank God. I was worrying there for a second, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, everybody. I, I did not think I'd ever say this, but I think Alan Bob beat me. Pretty positive he beat me. What? We're in square, guys. So he how, just lost. So how many How many did you catch? Caught five. You caught five? Yeah. Because we're counting that fifth one. And I caught three, so he beat me. Listen, I, get, I give you respect. I ain't gonna trash talk. I give you, listen, I give respect where it's due and Alan Bob showed it. You caught like, I, I just turned my head and I saw him catch like three. So I knew he was whacking him on that one corner. So I just knew it was happening. Man, I did not have any more bites. And then Adam Bob, Adam had to pull up and mess us all up and we had to end the tournament early. He didn't catch one after that. I yeah. took it out of the water like probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes before he did but he didn't catch any after that, so it's whatever. Adam actually had his boat here at my house, so he had to come by and pick it up. I didn't know he was coming, and I heard his truck, and I was like, oh my God, so I had to paddle back. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I caught him on today. For mine, all on a drop shot. Pretty sure yours was the same yeah, way, right? same way. All on a drop shot. The first two that I caught, which were the first, the two best ones, the two pretty decent fish, that was on a June bug trick worm. 
for some reason I always catch higher quality fish on that specific in that color June bug on the regular zoom trick worm something about it I just don't know what it is I usually catch bigger fish on it and then the last one which was the small one I actually caught in this little four inch zoom trick worm right there that's just standard green pumpkin I wanted to see if it would change my bites and he was throwing what you're throwing like a morning dawn color yeah this is Aaron's morning dawn robo worm purple pinkish and I caught all my five fish on that one nose hook did they, they're Same. eating nothing good yeah. so the water out here is not super super dirty so you, you can kind of it's kind of weird out here you can get away with some like natural colors that I'd normally throw in you know in clear water and you could always catch them on a June bug I usually catch a lot on a June bug drop shot out here when it comes to really picking the colors out here it really doesn't matter that much but it seems like they were eating that one a lot better then again i mean we were fishing different areas and we were doing our whole thing maybe if i would have put this in front of them they would have ate it but then again i mean he caught five on that thing yep. so they're whacking but alan bob listen respect man respect alan bob beat me i mean you can comment it below hashtag alan bob wins because i already know there's gonna be people talking some smack <laughs> but guys if you guys enjoyed this kayak fishing video be sure to pepper that thumbs up button i do apologize this is probably a little short episode we, i've been super busy and we didn't have too much time but thank you guys so much for the support be sure to pepper that like button leave a comment below on what you guys want to see next alan bob one below because you guys in the next video I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bears, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with ass, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh